What's up, YouTube? Today I'm going to be talking about the number one way to unfuck your life. Real quick before we get into it, I just want to discuss why am I starting this channel? Sorry for the background noises. Kids playing outside. I feel oh. for me it's... I oh. want to educate people on the biggest thing that changed my life for the better and I feel like it's such a topic that isn't discussed about enough. I mean, there's a couple of creators that kind of taught me about um, it, so I have um, to give props to them. Um, I guess I can give a shout out to Santa Cruz Medicinals, uh, Organic Tarzan, a couple others like Paul Saladino. I'm sure you guys know him. I just uh, feel like nutrition and health is something us as a society don't, we don't prioritize. I feel like we'll talk about loving ourselves or something, but we don't really treat ourselves with respect. I mean, do we, you live the life that you want to live. And I'm not trying to be corny. I'm not trying to sound like, oh, I'll never give up. You can do this, you can do that. But I mean, your mind is so much stronger than you actually think. I mean, that's why I'm starting this channel. I'm just, I'm going for it. It's a goal. Uh, I want to hit a thousand subscribers. So let's work towards that and let's get into the video. All right, so you probably clicked on this video to unfuck your life. Well, I have a couple of things that I can talk about to help you with that. So first up, I think self-care is super, super important. Whether it just be like skincare, um, fashion. Fashion is, in my opinion, self-care. Your clothes are such a way to express yourself. Uh, just another way of self-expression. Yeah, so I guess that's my that's my first reason it's going to be self-care yeah so as i said there's so many ways that you can care for yourself but <clears throat> a couple of the easiest ones that you can start with um, maybe without money are picking up a new hobby um, trying new things putting yourself out there is how we grow as humans and if you make a mistake you learn from it uh, i think that's a huge thing to do Second is going to be your health, prioritizing your health. When you look at, especially Americans, one in every two people is obese. 50% of the country, it could be more now, honestly, are obese. I think that is absolutely evil. I think that's disgusting. And you know what? I'm not surprised either because when you go into a grocery store, 90% of the stuff in the grocery store, 95 probably, are junk just junk, whether it be processed, ultra processed chips or candies, cookies, cereals, God, terrible stuff, all just food dyes and so-called healthy foods. Like there's farm-raised salmon. I, I can make a whole video on farm-raised salmon. Just you need to know about this stuff. The stuff that is presumed to be health, healthy really isn't that healthy. And you know, maybe some of it is, but it, it really depends on where it comes from. Like one thing that is so healthy, if you get it from the right place is honey, but you can get pesticides from that if you get it from the wrong, or you can get fake honey too, but yeah, you just gotta be careful. You can get, you can get bad chicken. You can get bad fish, you know, canned, canned meats are not good. You gotta get that fresh fresh you gotta cook it up yourself no pre-cooked shit so those are a couple of my health tips just you know always try and have your meat and fruits maybe a couple of vegetables those are those are my two meat and fruit are two the two staples of your diet for sure another thing about health is physical activity obviously so i uh recommend staying in shape Something that you enjoy is an important thing to have, whether it be a sport or something just where you're outdoors is healthy for the mind. And um, it's a great way to improve your life and improve your mental state. Oh, and another thing about health, water is key, but don't be getting that purified water. It's just purified tap water that they filter poorly. Always try and get spring water. Always try and get spring water, preferably in glass bottles. You don't want 
you don't want the plastic with the BPAs and the PFAs, you know, all that bad stuff that can affect your hormones. So, yeah, the, that's just another thing. Definitely prioritize your health because that's something that everyone should value and I feel like a lot of people don't. Now, um, another thing you have to ask yourself, why did you click on this video? Is your life okay? You have to kind of analyze this. Why did you click on this? And look at your life and ask yourself, are you doing everything you need to be to be a good person, to live a ha happy lifestyle? Yeah, you just, you just gotta get your values straight. Why, why, did you, why did you click on this video? The next key to success is going to be cutting out your distractions. Um, whether it be you're scrolling on social media too much, that used to be a big problem for me, especially in middle school. I would literally waste two to three hours of my day scrolling on TikTok. Good thing I deleted it, but maybe that's something you guys try. I mean, I'm sure I've had a couple people ask me, why aren't you starting a TikTok? It's a great way to blow up. For me, I just, I think it's an addicting app and I just didn't want to get pulled back into that and say, oh, it's just for my own, you know, my own page to grow. But I know I just get pulled back into scrolling endlessly. You got to cut out your distractions. If you're... <laughs> If you don't have a clear vision of what you want, cutting out your distractions might help you. Uh, I recommend this to everyone, at least limit them. What do you want in life? Work towards that. Dedicate yourself to something, work at it for a couple months and you'll see progress. And if you don't, then you'll learn. So I recommend this to everyone. I appreciate everyone watching the video. You're a real one if you stay to the end. Um, like and sub, you know the drill. And I hope everyone improves their self this year. This is your year, 2024, let's get it.